Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are back at, uh, at da, 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 da. we are back with you today uh, with another one of the uh, numerous palettes that I purchased around the holidays, the Christmas time, the December time, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I promised to do a review of, and then we didn't film for like two months. Sorry about that, but better late than never. So today I am um, reviewing I'm gonna do kind of like a feature of this particular brand. It's a brand that I've used before. It is what I would classify as more of a niche brand. It's definitely known, um, they're sold at Ulta. I bought both of these palettes at Ulta, but it is Lime Crime Cosmetics. I say niche because they are very much known for like unique colors, unique patterns, unique that kind of stuff. So, um, personally, I love their highlighters. They have these little highlighter trios and a bunch of different like, cute little themed shades. They have a fairies and angels and opals and mermaids. And I have pretty much all of them and I really like them. But they're definitely more of like an adventurous color. So I think a lot of people kind of shy away from them. This, this is not the featured palette. This is my additional palette. This one I'm pretty sure we actually filmed a tutorial with already. And I don't know if it ever got posted, which means it probably will get posted at some point because we have a lot of stuff that we filmed but we just haven't edited yet. Um, but this is the Sunkissed Face Palette. This is actually a summertime palette that I picked up probably in like August or September when it was like on sale. Um, but I just figured I could do a cute little like face look with that as well. Uh, this is the blush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to blend the hell out of it because it does not match what the eye look is gonna look like at all because they were wintertime colors. I'm not here to have good ideas. I'm here because I'm bored. So the featured palette, the one that I promised to do a review of that I have not done one of yet is actually the Winter Lights palette. It was their holiday release. It is shaped like a little Christmas tree. I like the shape of it. I think they charge like $42 or something like that full price, which I would not pay for this palette. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't think there's enough colors and I got some better palettes this season that were a lot cheaper, but it did have some uh, really cute stuff. And after Christmas, they put it on sale for like 50% off. So I think I paid around 20 for it and that was worth it in my opinion. So, uh, well, we'll see actually, cause I don't know how good the colors are. According to how it looks, how pretty it is, it seemed worth it enough for me to purchase it. Uh, we'll be able to tell today if it was actually worth it or not, but um, it does have a lot of really cool shimmer shades, which I love for the holidays. It only has a couple, three to be exact. It has three uh, matte shades, which makes it a challenge to work with, but uh, I'm bored. So here I am to challenge myself. Um, so I can, I can go ahead and tell you guys what I'm planning on doing is using December for like my lower lash line. I'm going to use Slade and Mittens as my kind of like dimensional shades and my crease and blending shades. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with Topaz cause uh, I don't care, nobody's gonna see me. So what does it matter? Um, and then I'm gonna go in with Flurries. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna do a brow bone highlight with a uh, Wish because it's a pretty white shimmery color. So now that I've explained what my uh, my thought process is, a lot of times I don't even think that far ahead. So I'm already doing better than I normally do on my tutorials. Uh, we're gonna dive right into it. Uh, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like my personality, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, you should consider subscribing because we need people who uh who enjoy our content to be part of our family we love we love you guys so uh yeah so definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell i'm gonna do my face stuff first i pretty much always start with that so i'm gonna do contour obviously contour is gonna be salty and then we'll do the brush the, the brush the blush uh which is sizzle and then i think just because of what i'm kind of feeling for the eye look, I'm probably just gonna go into Sundays. It seems to be the, the most neutral of the um, highlighter shades. I think that one's going to work well with what I'm trying to create. But uh, like I said, we'll see because I'm literally using warm colors and cool colors and it's just all gonna be a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be something. I will say this is, the Salty is definitely a bronzing shade. And I normally don't do my contour and stuff on camera. I normally use bronzers as contour anyway. I'm very light skinned. And so it just seems to work better for me. Occasionally I get to feeling like crazy and I decide to go ahead and do like a full contour and I do like the carving out of like my chin, my chin and like my forehead. I don't care enough normally to do that. So I just kind of do my cheeks, give myself a little bit of a shape in my cheek area. And then pretty much between each step of the way, I go in and I blend it out just so it's not super harsh. All right. I'm going to take just a very little bit of sizzle because I want to have a little bit of color, but I don't want to make it too orange. Too bad. Just a little bit of something, but not, not, not too terribly abrasive. Okay. And now we're going in with Sundays and I pretty much just go 
right above my blush. I go like on my lips, I go down my nose, and then I do my forehead, and then I blend it all in. The highlighters are one of my favorite things from Lime Crime. Like even that, I feel like I barely, I really didn't dig hard into it. I could have definitely scraped the brush a little bit harder and I got a lot of payoff. So if you want to try Lime Crime and you're kind of not sure, I would recommend testing out their highlighters. Um, the Angels palettes, the one in the trio that I was talking about, it has a lot of neutral shades in it. I think the Opals does as well. Those are the two I normally use. The ones like the Mermaid and I think the Fairies and stuff, they have like some greens and some purples. Those may be ones that like people are less comfortable with if you don't like kind of experimenting with that kind of um, crazy color scheme. But uh, there are definitely some, some neutral shades that you can work with and I really do like their highlighters. So. I'm happy with the highlight, definitely. I think I said that in when I did this palette the first time too. But overall, it's a cute palette. I don't remember what I paid for it. Uh, it was on sale, because I pretty much only buy makeup on sale. So <laughs> it probably was around $20 is what I don't normally like to pay much more than $20 for palettes, unless it's something I'm really excited about. And like, like when Urban Decay releases their naked palettes, I'm always like, all right, I'll pay full price for those because I love them. So now we're jumping into the eyeshadow palette. So once again, um, we're gonna go in first with Slade. I'm gonna do that in my outer corner and then I'm gonna blend it with mittens. And then um, that's gonna be probably like my, like I would say my lid probably to about this area. And then I'm gonna do the pink shade. That one flurries kind of going down and around. And I'm gonna do this on the other side and we're gonna see how it all turns out. It could be a, a hot mess or it could look great. Who knows? I don't really care at this point. I'm just doing it for funds, for the internets, for the lulls. So yeah, this is Slade. This is the darker brown color. One of the three mattes in here. I will say that's one of my biggest complaints about Lime Crime. Their palettes do not include a lot of mattes. I personally would prefer to have a majority mattes and a couple nice, really nice shimmer shades in my palettes because I feel like I can do more with that. Um, they are more known for like, hey, you know, we got a 24 color palette. We're going to do 18 shimmers and maybe like give you six mattes. So. That is one of my biggest complaints with Lime Crime, but I do actually really like their products. This is this is doing a great job. It's staying, it's not you know flaking everywhere, which kind of is an issue sometimes with certain palettes. It's a pretty color. It's definitely doing a nice job of giving me some eye shape. So I'm a big fan right now of this color a lot. Now I'm going in with Mittens, which is the light shade. We'll see how light it actually is. Sometimes I know it's very deceiving. Oh yeah, that, no, that's a good, that's a good blending increase shade. I, I like that a lot. Sometimes I'm very uh, deceived with palettes. I look at a color and I'm like, this should be a nice like transition shade or a nice light kind of blending shade. And then you go in there and it's like, oh, that's a lot darker than I realized, but this is a good one. I like this a lot. I will say my laziness has, le has reached such a, an extreme level that all of my makeup brushes are dirty and I really don't wanna wash them, so I just went to my travel kit and pulled out my travel brushes and was like, it's, it's fine. I really like this. It's doing a good job of blending out. They complement each other well. I will say for a palette that only has a few matte shades, it seems like they were well thought out matte shades, which I can definitely appreciate. Is still not something that I prefer in a palette. I definitely prefer having a little bit more to work with with my, um, my neutrals and uh, that kind of stuff. But I, I, you gotta appreciate the palette for what it is. This is one that I would probably buy if I were, you know, I buy everything because I have no ability to stop myself. If I were, you know, very particular about what I, I chose to purchase in terms of palettes, this would be a good one if you want like some nice glitter shades, I think. We'll see how well they do when they uh, are applied. But like I said, I do like, like Lime Crime's formula. Normally they have, you know, a good payout and all that. So this is, I can understand that being the uh, the reasoning behind the purchasing this bad boy. Looking good. I like it. I like it so far. All right, now we are going to do my under eye with December, which is that matte pink shade, just to give it a little bit of uh, under eye color. I'm actually liking this palette more than I thought I would. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of worried that I was gonna be like, meh, when I tried it, but it's it's, I feel like I could make some really cool eye looks with it besides just this one, so I'm liking it. All right, before I get crazy into the the glitter shades, I'm gonna actually go in and I'm gonna carve out um, my uh, my lid with some uh, 
concealer. That's the word I was looking for. So that we can give it a nice neutral area to work off of. And um, yeah, and then we'll come back and see how it looks. So. Okay, so I cleaned up my eyes and I'm not gonna lie. I really like the way they're looking right now. I'm very afraid that I'm gonna go in and put the topaz in and I'm gonna hate it but I've committed to it in my mind. So I'm gonna do it anyway and I'm not gonna look back and I'm just gonna be like, what does it matter? I'm gonna go to work in the middle of the night and then I'm gonna come home and take a shower and wash it off immediately. So uh, it's not like it's not, it's not like it's gonna be appreciated really. But I am liking what's going on with everything right now. I think it's created a nice shape. Like I said, it's blended out pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about this palette for, for something that when I got it, I was kind of like, I don't know if it was worth it because I know, it's so long ago, but I know I bought several palettes in that, that haul and I got some really good ones for really cheap. So this was actually one of the pricier ones that I bought and I was kind of like, I don't know if it was worth it or not, but it's seeming like it's worth it. So I am pretty excited about that. So, uh, so without any more delay, as scared as I am, we're going in with Topaz. I don't, and I say I'm scared, I'm not really a big blue fan on my eyelids. I love the color blue. But every time I do it for an eye look, I'm always kind of like, ah. Do I like that? I don't know. So that's why I'm like, but it's it's pretty and we're, whatever, we're gonna do it. Holy tamole, that is the, oh my God. Well, that's really pretty. That's, that's really freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. If concerts ever become a thing again, uh, whenever that may be 2022 or whatever, I, I wanna do this for like a, a concert because I just feel like this makes such a, oh gosh, it's like elegant grunge. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I feel like it's kind of got this like metal vibe to it, but in like such a pretty way. Oh wow, I really like that. I am shocked at how much I love it actually. And the formula is, is amazing. The formula is actually incredible because I'm barely even pressing down on my brush and it's picking it up and it's 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 applying so nicely and evenly as well, which a lot of times, especially with those hyper glitter pigmented shades, you wind up getting a lot of like sporadic dustings of glitter or it has trouble paying off on the, the eye coming off the brush. Um, in fact, a lot of times you wind up having to use your finger and I don't feel like I'm getting anything less because I used a brush. Um, I am gonna go in before I start on the other, I'm gonna go in and just darken up just a little bit more with that brown that we used originally. Oh, I love it. I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. I'm so excited about that. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. Um, I don't think I've said that I love it enough because I, I really, I am very excited. I'm very excited. So now just uh, before I before I jump onto the other side, I wanna see how it looks all together with what I have in my mind's eye. So we're gonna go in with Flurries, which is that light pink shimmery shade that I showed you guys at the beginning. And um, I'm gonna do that on my inner corner and I'm gonna go down like around like what I said, so. I also think, I think Frosty, which is the kind of mint shade would look gorgeous with this blue as well. But because I did the pink on my under, I really wanted to have like a pink tie-in, which is why I went with the, the light shimmery pink shade that I had available to me. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Holy cow, I love it. Oh my gosh, okay. And then just a little bit up here of the Wish, which is the white shimmer shade, just to give a little bit of highlight up at the tops. I'm into it, I'm into it. All right, let's do this eye and let's get some mascara on so I can really tell how I feel about it. But uh, I'm I'm definitely, I'm, vi I'm vibing this right now. Uh, this is a whole mood. All right, well, I don't know what to say other than this makeup is a whole vibe that I, I needed and I didn't realize I need it. And um, I'm so sad that it took me this long to realize how amazing this palette is. I'm floored, I, I really did not expect. I know that's so bad to like go in and be like, oh, I don't know about this, but I, I bought it kind of on a whim. It was like, you know, on sale and I was buying other sale stuff and I was like, oh, they're in the cards, 20 bucks, whatever. And then I, it showed up and I, like I said, I just felt like for the number of, of colors that came in it, it was still a little bit overpriced even on sale. Definitely overpriced for what the, the full price was, but I, I take it back. I, I, I really like the colors. They did a great job blending. There's a lot of really pretty shimmers that I didn't even think about touching. Namely being this absolutely gorgeous, like, kind of burnt orange shade, this this mint shade. We didn't even touch the silver one. There's like a couple different silver options. There's a lot to offer actually. Um, I think it might be fun to kind of go back with this palette in a little bit and do like a more neutral shade or a more, um, more muted, subdued 
I look with it because I think there's a lot you can do actually with the, the even with the three mattes and then all the shimmers they give you. So I'm just outright blown away. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry, I know this is a palette you can't pick up anymore. So if you see it and you really like it, I, I know it's not available and I'm so sorry that I, it took me so long to do it. Um, I will try and be better in the future. Uh, but I'm trying to make up for lost time right now. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the page out. Like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like what you see here, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you in the Dark Angel family. We're always looking to grow and bring in new beautiful people to be part of our, uh, our little YouTube home. So uh, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we post content. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You're all staying safe and healthy and uh, you just stay girly with a dark twist.